हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम फॉर द लेक्चर टू ऑन द सीरीज ऑन एक्सक्रीटर फिजियोलॉजी सो इन द लास्ट क्लास और इन द लेक्चर वन वी एंडेड अप स्टेटिंग दैट द नेफ्रॉन इज द बेसिक फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ द किडनी एंड इट इज मेड अप ऑफ टू डिफरेंट मेजर कंपोनेंट्स नंबर वन इज द रीनल कॉर्पसल नंबर टू is the renal tubule or the tubular like structures so today in this class we are going to see in detail on renal corpuscles the renal corpuscle so the renal corpuscle consists of two or it is made up of two important components one is the glomerulus or also called as glomerular capillaries and number two it is made up of bowman's capsule so the glomerulus or the glomerular capillaries is the tuft of capillaries so they are the tuft of capillaries that are derived or that emerges from afferent arterioles afferent arterioles so if you see the uh, renal artery will enter inside the kidney for example the uh, renal artery enters inside the kidney through the hilum and it is then divided into different uh, branches like interlobar arteries segmental arteries and later on it leads to it is called if afferent arterioles so these are the afferent arterioles afferent arteriole afferent arteriole it leads to afferent arteriole from the afferent arteriole you do get the capillary network an interconnected tuft of uh, network called as glomerulus so once they form the capillary network the blood is taken away through what is called efferent arterioles efferent arteriole so the blood moves to the nephron via efferent arteriole then it goes to the capillary bed the glomerulus and the blood is taken away from the nephron via the efferent arteriole so this whole capillaries is surrounded by capsule like structure called bowman's capsule so the whole of this glomerulus is surrounded by a bowman's capsule this it has a network of capillaries then leading to so this so this is the glomerulus this is the bowman's capsule enclosing the glomerulus so this glomerulus consists of or it is lined by 
discontinuous endothelial cells so they are lined by discontinuous endothelial cells the characteristic feature of these endothelial cells are these endothelial cells has got numerous pores they have got numerous pores and these pores are called fenestrae and through these pores whenever the blood flows from efferent arteriole and it passes through the glomerulus the fluids can easily be filtered through these pores okay and the second important structure is the basement membrane so this is the basement membrane on which the endothelium of the glomerulus lies so this so this basement membrane is called glomerular basement membrane glomerulus basement membrane g b m so it is not a typical lipid bilayer instead they are made up of gel like structures they are made up of gel like materials mainly it consists of type 4 collagen laminins nidogens and other glycoproteins proteoglycans etc the main function is they provide a negative surface area the poly ions that are present in this area provides a negative charge on its surface which is important for the filtration process the third important structure that could be seen is a flattened epithelial cells that are present on the visceral membrane of on the visceral membrane of the bowman's capsule and these cells flattened cells are called podocytes podocyte the characteristic feature of this podocyte is they have finger like projections which will be attached to the basement membrane which will be attaching to the basement membrane so these finger like projections are called pedicels or they are also called foot processes food processes of the podocytes or it is also called as pedicels and the food processes of one podocyte and the food process of another podocyte is also inter adhered or intertwined together by a structure called slit diaphragms by a structure called slit diaphragm so to put it here so we do have a cell a podocyte which has got a finger like projections called as foot processes so this is the podocyte here we have the pedic pedicel or the foot process and the foot process of one and this foot processes are attached to the glomerular basement membrane and the foot process of one podocyte is 
linked adhered to the food process of the another through a structure called slit diaphragm so we do have the cells here and the whole space here is referred to be as mesangium so the mesangium is the matrix gel like structure that is present here which consists of a specialized cells called mesangial cells called as mesangial cells so meso means middle uh, glial refers to the capillaries so the cells that are present in the middle of this capillaries that is especially the glomerular capillaries is referred to be as mesangial cells so this mesangium uh, matrix extracellular matrix helps to give a structural support for the glomerulus so the mesangial cells number 1 they will help in providing the support number 2 they will synthesize the extra cellular matrix number 3 they act as phagocytic cells they help in phagocytosis number 4 they also help in regulation of the blood flow that is they are capable of contracting so whenever the mesangial cells so here also we can have the mesangium and the mesangial cells so whenever the mesangial cells here contract so they will decrease the diameter of the efferent arteriole so whenever it is contracted so they will decrease the diameter of efferent arteriole so whenever the decrease there is decrease in the diameter it decreases the blood flow whenever the there is decrease in the blood flow there is decreased filtration so the amount of filtration can be controlled by the mesangial cells by contracting by decreasing the diameter of the efferent arterioles or the efferent arterioles so coming back again the tuft of capillaries that are found here is referred to be as glomerulus or glomerular capillaries they are lined by the endothelial cells which has got a numerous pores called as fenestrae and the whole glomerulus is encapsulated by a capsule called as bowman's capsule number 2 the basement membrane here is referred to be as glomerular basement membrane on which the endothelium lies so this glomerular basement membrane is gel like which is made up of your type 4 collagen laminins nidogens glycoproteins proteoglycans mainly it will provide you a negative surface area number 3 we do have a specialized cells called as podocytes these podocytes has got foot like processes called uh, foot like processes called as pedicels they are the finger like projections they will attach to the glomerular basement membrane and the pedicel of one foot processes is attached to the other through a structure called slit diaphragms so the bowman's capsule here has got two layers the layer towards the glomerulus here it is called as visceral layer 
दीस आर दी विजरल लेयर एंड द लेयर अवे फ्रॉम द ग्लोमरल हियर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज दि पैराइटल लेयर पैराइटल लेयर एंड दि विजरल लेयर सो द पोडोसाइट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन दि विजरल लेयर और द विजरल लेयर सेल्स ऑफ द बोमैन कैप्स्यूल इज कॉल्ड पोडोसाइट्स and the space between the bowman's capsule a potential space here is referred to be as bowman's space bowman's space or it is also called as urinary space in which after filtration of the fluid the fluid will be accumulated or it goes to the bowman space so by now so the renal corpuscle consists of number 1 tuft of capillaries called as glomerulus number 2 encapsulated by bowman's capsule number 3 it consists of glomerular basement membrane number 4 it consists of porocytes number 5 it consists of mesangium number 6 it consists of mesangial cells so the mesangial cells can be of or can be uh, classified into two types number 1 uh, is called intra glomerular mesangial cells the other is called extra glomerular mesangial cells extra glomerular mesangial cells so what does it simply mean the mesangial cells that are present in between these glomerulus are called intra glomerular the mesangial cells that are present outside the glomerulus are called as extra glomerular mesangial cells so the next important point to be remembered here is the filtration barriers filtration barriers so the filtration barriers means those structures through which the fluid or the blood passes on ultimately to form filtrate so which are the layers that the uh, blood fluids has to pass on before filtration to form a glomerular filtrate are referred to be as the filtration barriers the first filtration barrier is the fenestrate so the first as you already know whenever the blood moves from the efferent arteriole it has to pass through the endothelium we have already stated the glomerular endothelial cells has got numerous pores called as the fenestrate so the first layer through which the filtration occurs is through the fenestrate of the glomer of the endothelial cells of glomerulus the second layer through which the fluid has to pass uh, is the glomerular basement membrane you know after it passes through the endothelial cells the immediately we do have a layer called glomerular basement membrane the third it has to pass through the foot processes or the slit diaphragm of the podocytes so we know the visceral layer is made up of the podocytes which are interconnected to the slit diaphragm so this is the third barrier it has to pass through then it enters inside the bowman's space so after passing it through these three layers the fluid 
enters into into the bowman's space